Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'll be giving you an overview of React Native CLI. Now, when you set up a React Native project, you have the option to either set it up using Expo CLI or React Native CLI. I always go with React Native CLI because even with the Expo CLI, you still have to eject your application to React Native CLI later on. And you have more freedom when it comes to accessing native features using React Native CLI compared to Expo. So to get started, um, head over to reactnative.dev and then come to environment setup and then setting up the development environment. So I'll first do the setup for iOS and then I'll go over Android in the next video. So first thing you'll want to do is have Node installed and Watchman as well. So if you are on a Mac, you can run the homebrew command to install both of these. So as you can see, I've already got Homebrew and Watchman installed. If uh, these are not installed on your machine yet, it might take a little longer to uh, install on your side. And then the next thing you'll want to do is head over to the App Store and download Xcode. And make sure that the version is a version 10 or, or above and then click install. In my case, I've already got this set up as well. Uh, it's like 11.7 gigs, so it might take a while to download. Once you've done that, open your Xcode. And then once you've got Xcode installed, uh, head over to your Xcode preferences. Under locations, uh, select the latest version of command line tools uh, to have that installed. And then also you'll want to set up a simulator under component section. So download a simulator that you'll need for uh, demoing your application or debugging your applications. And then once that's done, uh, you'll need to run this command here to install CocoaPods. then enter your password okay and once that it's installed then you're ready to set up your uh, ios project using the react native cli so to do that you just run npx react native init and the name of your application Okay, so the setup is complete. If you're running this on an M1 machine and come across this CocoaPods uh, error here, what you'll want to do is CD into your test app and then iOS and then run this command here to install your pods. And that should install all the CocoaPods dependencies. Okay, so as you can see, all the pods have been installed. Next thing, I'll go ahead and open this in my Xcode. And to do that, I'll just head over to the project. And inside the project, I'll just navigate to iOS and then click on the test app.workspace file to open it in Xcode. Okay, and after doing that, it should open up in Xcode. And then in here, uh, just select the uh, simulator that you'd like to run the application on. In my case, I'll select the iPhone 11 and then just click on this uh, play button here. And this will build and run your application. Okay, so the build was successful. Now, if you open your emulator, you should see this default React Native screen here. And to edit the application, uh, you can open the project in VS Code or any text editor that you're comfortable with and you should have all your files there. And that's pretty much it.